uh, I want to apologize for what happened a while ago. Uh, I want to let every brother and sister to understand that was not my fault. What happened a while ago, it was due to the system. You know, when I was attacked by Saba attack a couple of weeks ago, I am still working on it. You know what I'm saying? I am still working on it. So the system is not 100% working. So I want everyone to understand that when I was attacked a couple of weeks ago, that is why you saw that my system are still shutting off. Even though that they have worked on it, but, you know, I want to apologize. This is not my fault. It was the fault of vampires who attacked me then. So we are working on it. As soon as we, we get through with it, I'm still going to come out and let everyone know. You can see the system shut off on the own. So I want you to go ahead. Go ahead and uh, share the video one more time again, please. I really apologize for that. That wasn't my fault. I want everyone to understand that. That was not my fault. So, that aside, please, brothers and sisters, go ahead and share the video. Let everyone be able to have a way to watch the video live. So, that is what I'm doing now. So, we, if we have to do it 10 times in a day, let us go ahead and do it. Okay? Uh, that is what I'm begging everyone to do. Please, let us go ahead and do it. Please. So, this one is done. So, uh, we're going to have a good, a good show today. Like I promised, it's going to be good. Uh, I'm going to start all over. I want everyone to understand, those that are in Nigeria, to understand when a policeman want to arrest you or policeman come into your home, do not be violent to them. Be nice to them. You know, no one can get angry when you are nice to them. You know what I'm saying? Don't start insulting them. Respect whatever command they gave you. As a law enforcement officer, they have every right to tell you what to do. You have no choice but to comply. So whatever grievances that you have, when you get to the station, you can go ahead and do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that is what I want to let everyone understand. Please, please, if you have a policeman who comes to your home or anywhere, please respect him or her. So, that is one thing. I'm going to go ahead and share this video while we are over here. It, sorry, I want to apologize again. It wasn't my fault. When my internet was attacked the other day, uh, the other week, so it's still, I even spoke to a gentleman today about it. I'm still spending money on it. So, it's easy to destroy, but it's very hard to fix. That is the problem. Please, I want everyone to understand that. Bear with me. We have a good show today. I want everyone to know that. Please go ahead and share our video. Let me go straight to the point. Uh, what I was saying a while ago, I said Nigeria is in a big mess. Nigeria is in a big mess. When I say big mess, we are in a big mess. There is no way we're going to get out of this mess if we are not ready to get out. That is the fact. And most of all, are not ready. So, how do we get out of this problem that our leader have created for us? That is the number one question. How? How are we going to get out of it? You know? That is my question. The only way is what we are doing. But once we are doing something, then you have others who are not ready to help us. All they do is to criticize and try to bash us or bring us down. It make it difficult for us. You know what I mean? So that is the fact. And that is the naked truth. So, I want every brothers and sisters, please, don't think we are not making an impact. We are doing a great job. If you want to know what, if we are doing a great job or not, call on Nigerian government. Call Abuja. Ask them. Have you heard about people's freedom movement? They're going to tell you, oh, yes. If you want to know the truth, call Bini City. Call Lagos. You know, call people that you know who, are, who have access to internet. Those that don't have access to internet, I want everyone to be able to go out and spread the news. Let everyone know what we are all about. We are anti-corruption movement. We are anti-xenophobia. We are anti-police brutality. We are anti-anything that has to do with violence. We want freedom for all. What we are fighting for is freedom. We want freedom. And you cannot achieve freedom if you don't fight for it. That is the truth. You cannot get a freedom if you are not ready to fight for freedom. That is the fact. So, I want 
our brothers and sisters to understand that. So, here is what we're going to talk about today. Right now, we are black people. We know we are black. Our color is black. I'm going to speak the real truth today. It's going to be 100% truth. We are black. Okay. We the black people, we have no freedom. That is the fact. We have no freedom. It don't matter what country we are, if you are in the United States, or if you are in Nigeria, or you are in Asia, we have no freedom. We have no freedom in Nigeria. That is our own country. There are no white, no brown, no green, nobody else in Nigeria. It's all black. If we cannot have freedom within ourselves, where do you think we're going to get freedom? That is my question. Okay. We need freedom in all over Africa. The only way we're going to get freedom, if you belong to any group, and you know your group, any group you belong to, I don't care if you are in any group, secret court or anything, I don't care. I am not here to fight any group. But if you belong to any group, and you have no change in your life, your community have no change, they, they don't impact your community in a, in a real way. They are not contributing to the youth. They, they are not contributing for employment. All they create is chaos, problem, killing, killing, killing. You don't want to be in that group. I want you to have the courage. Get the hell out of that group. There are many groups in Nigeria who are doing a wonderful job. The only bad group that we know that they can never change are the corrupt leaders, the vampires. So I want you to understand, if you're in any group and you see that group, it's not moving forward. It's not helping your need. Get the hell out of it. Think about your family. Don't just think about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Then the gate to hell is when you started commit atrocity. Like all these political leaders who are taking our money every day. Every time EFCC, they recover money, they recover money. We don't know where the money is going. We don't know where it's going. We don't even know who are this EFCC that is recovering this money. You know what I mean? Where are they backing the money? Where is the money going? They just bring it out on the news. The owner will come. Either they are sharing the money or someone is, someone is just collecting the money. You know what I'm saying? That is the truth. Please, I am begging everyone. Please, please. If you have a number, how you can get a contact with EFCC, please continue to call them. Ask them where our money is going. You have every right to know. You know what I'm saying? That is the fact. Okay. Then let me go to people's freedom movement. It's no violent movement. We don't fight anybody. The only people we have problem with are the bad leader, corruption, xenophobia, oppression. Unemployment is our enemy. Oppression is our enemy. Xenophobia is our enemy. Police brutality is the greatest one. Corruption is a virus. And it continues to kill our brothers and sisters. Home and abroad. You might not know it. It might not get to you right now. But one day it's going to get to you. One way or the other. That is the fact. When you travel abroad, then you saw the way other European countries, most of the European government, the way they treat our citizens, you will know that no one loves us. No one. So, and we, even the black people, we are in Nigeria. But our own leader do not love us. They don't care about us. If you think they care about you, why don't you have their number? You vote for them. It don't matter how you vote for them. Why are they hiding their numbers? You know what I'm saying? When you call them, they know who you are. They are not going to answer your phone again. You know what I'm saying? They'll go back and buy another line. That does not make sense. How can you lead when you don't communicate with your, with your people? How will you know the pain they are going through? Eh? Here I am every day. I come online. I don't do this because, because, oh, I want to do it for something. I'm doing it because I'm passionate about it. It is something that I know is wrong. I watched the other day. I saw some video. Little, little kid. Little, little kid. They were insulting me. I look at my son. I look at his picture. I say, damn, my son's life is good. And these children, they, some of them are even older than my, my son. 
Then I look at my little one. I look at it and say, where are these kids going? Now you are teaching them how to be, they are violent already. They are killers. They are criminals. I'm going to throw them in jail. That is number one. I work in a jail. I'm a jailer, a detention officer, a correctional officer, or a security person. What I do best is put criminal behind bars. Anyone who is a criminal, I will put you behind bars. And once you are there, you are not going to come out when I'm there. You will not even have one single freedom when I'm there. When I get out, you can call anybody. You can play with them. I don't care. I am no nonsense officer. If I find little, little children who subject themselves into all this useless way of life, you go into jail. So don't call me and beg. If you know this family, this individual, who they are using, and you call it that they are children, and they are doing what they are not supposed to do, they should be ashamed of themselves. Don't call me when the time comes, because I'm going to lock them up. You know what I mean? Don't just go and start doing video when you don't know what you are talking about. What you said is a code of criminal activity. There are code criminals use. You can say that to someone who is not into law enforcement. You know what I mean? You can say it to me. You go into jail, and I'm going to jail you. I'm going to see who is going to come and rescue you. Then it will become between me and that person. Now they are denying. I didn't send them. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. I understand that. You can deny. So whenever you come out, you want to support for a good cause. I am fighting for people, fighting for freedom, for your own freedom. But here you are, you are coming out. A those state belongs to everybody. A those state belongs to everybody. That is the truth. I am from Urenigbe. My father is from Urenigbe. My mother is from Ewesi. I am from Urenigbe. You know what I'm saying? My father was an Okawu of Urenigbe. Or John Wedo of Ewesi. So if we have a king or a chief in Urenigbe, it could have been my father. And my mother is from, is from the palace, Egwa. I don't come here and claim, oh, I'm from the palace, I'm from that. No. My parents are from the palace. I don't claim it. So when you stand up and try to say, oh, you are from this, you are, you are a useless child. Your father should be ashamed of yourself. You have nowhere to go. When you see a little kid coming out, telling you how he's going to do, and you look at this kid, he can't even withstand even your uppercut. How is he going to deal with you? That means he has a gun, he has a weapon. Then you come to the station and explain. That is, those are the ones I want police to get. Not the innocent ones who are selling goods or in a papa or in a bar. They are just selling, doing their own business. Police will start arising them. The bad one, because they are into one society, the police will not even say anything to them. That is the problem we are having in Nigeria. You know what I'm saying? But for me, if you want to use me, to make a name, you're going to end up in jail. You are not going to make that name. You will make that name in jail. You will be in an orange suit. If there's no suit in Nigeria, you're going to be on your own. You're going to suffer. I will nab you and make sure I dump you in Abuja. If you are from Imo State, I will put you in Lagos. If you are from Edo State, I will carry you to Kanu. Let me see how many of your family can be able to travel to Kanu. Don't think I'm going to lock you up with your immunity. No way. It might take time, but justice is coming to you. I just want you to know that. That is number one. So I'm going to go about this. Like I said, if you join any group, that group is not good. Get the hell out of that group. Please, I am begging you. You see, in America, we blacks, we all fight for freedom. 